Hello, Zebra Herd. In today's episode of Detective Pikachu Returns, we solve more puzzles to get deeper into the ruins. Will we be able to find and save the professor? Let's find out together. So, this is what the ruins are like inside. Why is it so cold? Yeah, it's freezing in here too. What's going on? I know it's snowing outside, but this still feels really unnatural. Snow outside, ice inside. I bet there's a connection. You think the professor's all right after two whole days in here? I hope so. We should probably hurry. I'm not sure what we'll find in here, so I'll go scout ahead. Thanks, Tim. Okay, let's go find Gordon. All right, so look for Professor Gordon. Yes. I didn't expect it to be like this even inside the ruins. I'm worried about the professor. We need to hurry and find him. All right, well, I'm definitely on it, and maybe we could talk to Pikachu more, but something's happening. What is that up ahead? Looks like some statues. Hmm. Looks like there are three different ways to go. Which way do you think the professor went? I guess the only way to really find out is to go each way. Starting with straight ahead, because it seems like the shortest path. What is this on the floor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something on the floor. It's a brand new handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Trevor Gordon? Professor Gordon's name is embroidered on it. So it's Gordon's handkerchief then, huh? Professor Gordon's handkerchief. Interesting. So what's up next? Where did Professor Gordon go? Where could Professor Gordon have gone? Look for clues to trace his whereabouts. The fact that we found the professor's handkerchief here meant, uh, means he must have come to this room. Yeah, but I don't see Gordon anywhere. Where do you think he went? We might be able to find some more clues about that. Let's investigate this area carefully. So let's not begin deducing, deducing just yet. We gotta look around more. Just not enough information really to come to a proper conclusion if you ask me, so I definitely wanna poke around a little bit, including this little snow pile. This is the only spot where the snow is piled up like this. There's a hole in the ceiling, must have blown in from there. You're right, no wonder it's so cold. Wait, does that mean that we could have just gone in through the ceiling? Don't look at me, I didn't see, what I, see it when I was up there. Besides, it would have been really tough to get down from that hole safely. True, it's not like we brought a rope or anything. Might be a good idea to start doing that though. We're going on uh, little adventures like this. Oh, it's a statue of Pissimian. This looks like a statue of Pissimian. Pissimian statues. What a weird pose. It's almost like it's offering something. Yeah, now that you mention it, that is strange. I wonder if there's some special meaning to it. Also, the statue's a slight scent to it. Really? I don't smell anything. That's because Pokemon are more sensitive to smell. It's faint, but I can smell something sweet. Sweet like possibly a berry? I feel like with the fact that Pissimians like berries that we learned from the other Pissimian by the tree, maybe if we put corresponding berries on these statues, we might be able to get something to happen. It's a Piss Pissimian statue. Sniffing this statue makes my eyes hurt. You know, like when you take a, whiff of, a big whiff of something spicy? And then lastly, this one right over here. It's a Pissimian statue. There's a sour smell coming from this statue. So a sweet, spicy, and sour berry might be our answer. And there's footsteps on the floor too. There are footprints all over the floor. It looks like someone was walking around. Wandering footprints. Some seem to be heading toward that wall, and others look like they're leaving the room. Gordon must have gone in and out of this room several times. There are so many footprints all over the place, I can't tell which way the professor went. Huh, I do see some, oh hey, look, it's the uh, next Swaddlin. There's Swaddlin. It looks so cold. It's practically frozen. It must be too cold to walk back home. Quick, let's give it the clothes that Livani gave us. Hope it appreciates that. All right, it looks much better now. Your mother's worried about you. You should hurry home. All right, goodbye, Swadlian. <laughs> All right, we found both Swadlian. Wanna head back now to make sure they made it home safe and sound? 
Uh, for now, I think we should probably keep busy with what we currently have, so I'm gonna say no. That's okay, we can circle back later whenever you feel like it. Because there just seems to be a lot to go do right now. We got the bronze door up there that I don't think I can reach or talk to, but there's this giant door which has some Pokemon on it, I forget its name. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to press that. Wait, what did he say? Okay, Tim said, this wall looks different from the others. Yeah, there, there's a relief of a relief of Aegislash carved into it. What in the world could it mean? Hmm? Hey, Tim, look at the floor. What, what about it? There's another footstep. Several of them, actually. Huh, okay. They look like human footprints. From the size, I'd guess they were made by an adult male. Hmm, you're right. But there's something weird about these footprints. I'll say, the tip of the last footprint is cut off by the wall. Footprint cut off by the wall. Oh, I do see that now. It's almost like the wall was made after the footprints were left here. That doesn't seem possible though, does it? What could have happened here? Well, maybe this isn't a wall and it's actually a door. Okay, let's start deducing. Ooh, so I guess we have enough information to start deducing. Right. We've got everything we need to make our deductions. Let's solve this puzzle, Tim. Sure. So, extra information is here. Where did Professor Gordon go? It's right over here. Footprint cut off by the wall. The tip of this footprint is cut off by the wall in an unnatural way. Wandering footprints. Footprints left by someone who walked around the statues. They also walked towards the back of the room and the doorway they entered from. Professor Gordon's handkerchief. A handkerchief found on the ground in the center of the room of the ruins. Professor Gordon's name is on it. Okay, begin to do so. Hmm. Where could Gordon have gone? Let's think about this together. So, he left the ruins. The trail footprints can also be seen heading towards the entrance. The professor may have finished his research and left the ruins. He went along a path beyond the wall. It doesn't make sense for a footprint to be cut off by a wall. Maybe this wall is actually a moving door, like the entrance to the ruins. He went to the restroom. Maybe the professor left to use the restroom. He could have gotten out his handkerchief to wash his hands afterwards, but dropped it on his way out. I think it might, might most likely be the first or the middle one. He went along a path beyond the wall. Oh, maybe this path extends past the relief of Aegislash. And the relief could have blocked off the path after the professor had already gone through. Does that seem possible to you? Hmm, the entrance to the ruin was closed shut, even though we know Gordon opened it. It's possible that this relief is also an entrance and it also closed shut Gordon after Gordon walked through it. If that's the case, maybe there's another mechanism that'll move this relief. Yeah, we just gotta figure out what it is. All right, well, we'll look for that for sure. But for right now, he figured out the mechanism and went deeper into the ruins. Hmm. How do we get past the wall? Figure out how to activate the mechanism to open the door and venture deeper into the ruins. What can be done to get past this wall? Now we need to investigate and figure out what kind of mechanism controls the Age of Slash wall. How do we do that? Hmm, there was a unique design on the switches that opened the entrance. So that same design must be used, might be used inside the ruins too? Not necessarily. We have no reason to think that the same type of mechanism is being used here. But that doesn't mean there aren't any visual clues here. Visual clues, huh? For now, let's just look around the ruins for anything that seems unusual. We can think about the mechanism afterward. All right, so I definitely agree with Detective Pikachu there. I think we need to investigate these statues more, but since there isn't too much to do with them directly for now, I think it might be worth it to back up and explore the other room. So over here to the left, we have another hallway to go down. With these glowing orbs, I'd be really curious. I guess there's some kind of source of power in these ruins to make these glow. Whoa, it's Slowpoke. Are you okay, buddy? Wait, I love what? your hat. Slowpoke. Slowpoke, concentrated deliciousness in the tip of its tail. Frozen Slowpoke. Is this the professor's partner, Slowpoke? Easy there, Slowpoke. We're not your partner. He thought Mr. Go was back, and now he's disappointed. He calls Professor Gordon Mr. Go, huh? That's cute. Hey, Tim. Looks like his feet are frozen solid. I think he's stuck. Yeah, we can't leave him like this. But what can we do to help? Does anybody have a blow dryer for their hair? Maybe that would work? Hmm? What if we ask Rachel for help and then try pulling him out together? Sounds like a plan. 
Poor Slowpoke. I love his little detective hat though, or I guess it's an archeologist hat, yeah. <laughs> it's so adorable. This is Professor Gordon Slowpoke, right? Yeah, I think so. But why is he frozen? We've gotta help him, quick. It won't be easy with the ice this cold, solid. Slow. Oh no! Don't worry, Slow. we'll pull you free. Three, two. <laughs> oh, gotta give him a good pull. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Keep pulling. No. <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> you squished him. A little help here. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Not funny, Rachel. Come on, quit playing around. Wait, huh? Uh oh. Oh no! Isn't His tail. Pope's tail? Hey, are you okay? Oh, he already grew a new one. Well, I see. Your tail really grows back fast. Slow pose, slow pose. I can keep this. Don't mind if I do. So apparently a delicacy. Luckily, it does grow back quick. All right, well, I'm glad Slowpoke's okay now. Well, looks like we managed to get him free. Thank goodness. He says, thank you for rescuing him. I'm really glad we could help, though you're heavier than you look. Did Slowpoke give you his tail just now, Pikachu? Yeah, don't you know Slowpoke tails are good eats? You can't help but smile when, he, when you sink your teeth into one. Huh? You don't say. How'd you end up frozen anyway? It happened so suddenly that you're not sure? What about your partner, Gordon? Where is he? You were asleep until just now, so you don't know? I wish I, I was that carefree. Hmm, well, that's too bad. So then, what do you remember, Slowpoke? Can you tell us anything at all? About you, Slowpoke. Hey. Just to confirm, you're Gordon's partner, right? Just as we thought. So you came here to help with Gordon's research. And he always brings you along on all his research trips, huh? What sort of thing do you help do to help the professor? You're good at spraying water, huh? Hmm, how is that helpful to Gordon? Noted testimony. I'm sure that could be useful. Ah, I see. Gordon brings you along instead of bringing a canteen. That's a choice. Why were you frozen? Can you tell us what happened when you got frozen? Apparently it happened so suddenly, he was already frozen by the time he noticed anything was wrong. What was the professor up to when you got frozen? He says that Gordon had gone off somewhere. And when Slowpoke tried to follow, that's when he got frozen. He says he sat there wondering what to do until he fell asleep. Hard to believe he managed to sleep for two days in a place this cold. Where did Professor Gordon go? Hey. Was Gordon with you when he entered this room? Okay, so they were together at that point. When did you hand uh, you and the Professor get separated? Right after they reached this room. Gordon told Slowpoke to use his water to wash the dust off a mural. After Slowpoke did that, Gordon suddenly noticed something and rushed out of the room. A bit later, he heard Gordon call out in surprise in the from the next room. And then there were was a rumbling, rocky sound. Slowpoke tried to hurry and catch up, but that's when he got frozen. And right after you got frozen, you heard that rumble again? So you heard that rumbling sound twice, eh, Slowpoke? So I'm guessing that was the door opening and closing. What did Professor Gordon notice? Hmm. Do you have any idea what Gordon might have noticed? No dice, huh? The murals in this room are really big. Yeah, I bet there's a clue hidden somewhere in these murals. <laughs> Thanks for all the info, Slowpoke. You've been a huge help. That conversation just sounded like a bunch of pika pikas and slow slows to me. Still, they talked for a pretty long time. What were they talking about? Could you understand them, Tim? W what? No, of course I can't understand them. All right then, I'm gonna stay here for a while and look after Slowpoke. I want to at least make sure he's okay. He was stuck in that ice for two days after all. Got it, thanks Rachel. 
In that case, let's get back to our investigation. According to Slowpoke, Gordon notices something when he looked at these murals. Then these murals must hold the key to finding the professor's whereabouts. We better take a close look at them. All right, so we can talk to both of these two, so we might as well catch up. You're pretty desperate to go find Gordon, aren't you? I get that you're worried, but you've really got to take it easy for a bit. You've had a, a, a rough couple of days yourself. And what about Rachel? Yes. Is Slowpoke okay? I think he's hungry, but otherwise he seems fine. I gave him some of my lunch and he perked right up. I'll take care of Slowpoke. You just focus on finding the professor. All right, so we'll take a look around. Whoa, that's a pretty huge hunk of ice. I know it's cold in here and all, but could something like that really have formed naturally? Seems kind of suspicious. What I think might have happened between Slowpoke getting stuck, this giant ice pile, and the mural that's now covered in ice, I think that it froze while the water was still just there when Slowpoke used his water move. But there is two other murals, and they both have Pisimians holding berries. Huh. So these are the murals the professor was looking at. They both depict Pisimian. Or depict Pisimian. Yeah, but how do we know which of these two murals he was actually looking at? Maybe he looked at both of them. Either way, we'll have to give them each a thorough inspection. So investigate the ruins and begin deducing. So on the left here, we have a Pisimian holding a yellow berry. Professor Gordon noticed something when he was looking at these murals. We should check them out as well. Make sure not to miss any details. Hmm. Okay, where should we look first? Well, first off, I think this berry. Look at this Pisimian's pose. It's holding a berry. You're right, it's got a yellow berry. Yellow berry. And then the Pisimian. Look at this Pisimian's face. It seems happy. Looks like my face when I've just eaten something sweet. Sweet expression. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. Okay, seems like it to me too. Let's back out of here and we'll take a look around the rest of the room. So on the other side, of course, is another mural. This one has a different kind of Pisimian. Professor Gordon noticed something when he was looking at these murals. We should check him out as well. Make sure to not to miss any details. Hmm. Okay, where should we look first? I think once again at the berry. Hmm. Look at this Pissimian's pose. It's holding a berry. You're right, it's got a blueberry. The other wall had a yellow berry, but this one's blue. And of course, the Pissimian has a different expression. Ooh, this Pisimian has a pretty strained expression. Haha, <laughs> yeah, like it just ate something sour. So these are matching up with the scents that were left on those statues, as if maybe, of course, the professor put berries on them and left that scent. Yep, no other way to interpret that face. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. So the only one that's left is the one in the center. So I guess, if it wasn't covered in ice, we'd be able to figure it out. This wall is way more frozen than the others. If you look closely, it seems like there's another mural on the middle wall too. Frozen mural. But with all this ice in the way, we can't see what the mural is depicting. If we want to see this mural, we're gonna have to do something about all this ice first. I wonder what's drawn here. Okay, huh. let's start deducing. So we have enough information to begin deducing. Right. We've got everything we need to make our deductions. Let's solve this puzzle, Tim. Sure. So how do we get past the wall? Figure out how to activate the mechanism to open the door and venture deeper into the ruins. What can we done to get past this wall? Yellow berry. The Basimian in the mural on the left wall is holding a yellow berry. Blueberry. The Basimian in the mural on the right wall is holding a blueberry. Pisimian statues. The statue in the center of the room, room of the ruins are in strange poses. Sweet expression. The Pisimian in the mural on the left wall is making a face that it just ate something sweet. Sour expression. The Pisimian in the mural on the right wall is making a face that it like it just ate something sour. Frozen mural. One of the murals is frozen over. We can't see what it depicts through ice. All right, let's begin to do something. Hmm. Did you figure out how we can get past the age slash relief? So either 
frees the middle statue, the middle mural is frozen, but the middle statue isn't. Maybe we can activate the mechanism by freezing the middle statue. I mean, maybe, but I don't see how the professor could have done that without Slowpoke. Change the statue's expression. Maybe we can activate the mechanism by changing the statue's expression to match the ones in the murals. Or, lastly, have the statues hold berries. Maybe we can activate the mechanism by having the statues hold the same berries that the Passimian in the murals are holding. I think this is the one. Oh, what if we had the statues hold the same berries as the Passimian in the murals? You know how both the statues and the murals depict Passimian? That makes me think they're both connected to the me mechanism. The Passimian in the murals are holding berries, but the Passimian statues aren't. So I think we need to make the statues match the murals. Ah, I get what you're saying. We could probably pull that off by placing berries on the statues. The statues look like they're perfectly posed for holding berries too. There's just one problem though. Yeah, each mural depicts a different berry. Exactly, which probably means we need to give each of the three statues a different berry but what berry are we supposed to give which statue? Well, I think we have to match the expressions for that, but the mechanism could be activated if we give the right berries. What sweet yellow berry should we place on the statue to the left? What sweet yellow berry needs to be placed on the statue? <laughs> okay, so it says the same thing twice. Uh, what berry should we place on the statue to the left? I think it's only natural to assume that the leftmost mural and statue correspond to each other and the mural depicts a yellow berry and a happy Passimian. I bet that Passimian's expression is a clue about the flavor. Could it be smiling because it ate something sweet? Exactly what I was thinking, which means we need to place a sweet yellow berry on the statue. Okay, let's go find a berry that ticks those boxes. And then what sour blue berry should we place on the statue to the right? What berry should we place on the statue to the right? I bet the answer is in the rightmost mural. The mural on the right depicts a blueberry and a Passimian with a puckered up face. I'm sure that the face someone makes when they've just eaten something sour. Which means that the answer's gotta be a sour blueberry. Let's go find a berry that ticks those boxes, Tim. And finally, how can we get rid of the ice in the mural? The middle mural is frozen over, obscuring the picture. Find a Pokemon that can help remove the ice. What berry should we place on the middle statue? We couldn't examine the middle mural because it was frozen over. We've gotta figure out what to do about that ice first. I don't think there's anything we can do to get rid of that ice that thick. True, in that case, I think we should get some help from a Pokemon. Yeah, there were lots of Pokemon outside the ruins. Let's go ask the Pokemon if any of them can help. I'd, ag I'd guess Monferno out of any oh. of them? If we wanna get farther into the ruins, we have to gather berries depicted in the murals. Right, we need, a, we need a sour berry that's blue and a sweet berry that's yellow. The colors we can see, so that's... The colors we can see, so that part's easy, but what about the flavors? Hmm, even I don't know what every berry tastes like. Guess I'll just have to try them all. What, you're going to eat them? That's the fastest way to get the info we need, right? I guess, just don't make yourself sick, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. We Pokemon love berries. All right, Tim, now that we've got a plan, let's go get those berries. All right, so collect the berries outside the ruins and begin deducting. Before we do that, of course, we can also talk to Rachel and there was still the other hallway to go down in the ruins. You're looking for berries? Whenever the professor and his assistants are at a research site, they always carefully survey their surrounding area. Chris should be able to help you if there's any berries you can't find. Gotcha. Okay, so let's head right back out then and in this direction. So. What is going on way down here? Another wall that's blocked off and also Pokemon, hmm? This rock seems a little different from the others. Yeah, it's definitely got a pretty strange shape. What do you suppose it's doing here? Who knows? I don't think it's a rock though. Um, and what about this? It's a wall of ice. Looks like we can't go any farther this way. Yeah, there's no way we can get through a wall this thick. I can just barely see through the other side though. Really? Let me take a look. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely something there. I see something moving. Hmm, looks like a suspicious shadow. I'm curious to know what it is, but we should look into it later. Yeah, let's come back another time. 
uh, sort of creepy, but yeah, I can see the shadow now. So maybe once we learn the ability to melt ice one way or another, we can come back here and see what that mysterious shadow is. But for right now, we should leave the Southern Ruins. All right, we're back outside, and I guess the first thing is to talk to Chris and Munchlax. Mm. Is there something you wanted to ask? About the berries here. Excuse me. Do you know anything about the berry trees that grow around here? Yeah, I wandered around and explored a bit while waiting for the professor. There are lots of different berries here. Hobbin berries, anab berries, pinap berries. It's a shame that there aren't any toma to toma yeah, tomato, tomato berries though. Tomato berries? Yeah, they're spicy red berries. The professor loves them. No to testimony, so spicy red berries. When I cook for the professor, he always loves my, my any dish I've flavored with tomato berries. So he knows just what flavor he likes. Sounds like we'd get along. Unfortunately, I just used up all the tomato berries I brought with me. See that tree over there with no berries on it? It's actually a tomato tree. Someone must have picked all the berries already. And here I was hoping to add a little more to this curry. Well, that's unfortunate. That might have been the exact berry we needed. Mm -hmm. What about Munchlax? About the berries here. Hey. Do you know anything about the berries that can be picked around here? Munchlax found a blueberry nearby, but he says it was bitter and not tasty at all. You wish you could find sweet berries instead, huh? Hmm, so you can find bitter blueberries around here. We need sweet blueberries though, right? Or maybe sour blueberries, I think it was. What are you good at? Hey. What sort of things are you good at? He says he can clean up pots and plates until they're spotless and sparkling. He washes dishes? That's really helpful. And by clean up, he means he eats every last scrap of food until the pots and plates are spotless. Noted testimony, okay. Sounds like that's a point of pride for Munchlax. Oh, so it doesn't wash dishes after all. It just really loves eating. Okay, well that's all the information we can get from those two, and this is the one berry they were talking about. Mm -hmm. There are some blueberries growing here. Let's see what they taste like. They're hard and bitter too. Ugh, these are definitely coba berries. Coba berry. So I don't think we need that one. Ugh, I need a glass of water. Are you okay, Pikachu? I hope he is. So not too much I can do on this side, but of course where that Pissimian was, there was also um, some more berries. So I definitely wanna go check that out because I think that might be one of the ones we're looking for. And hey, look at you, you weren't here before. Cleffa, innocent little star tot. <laughs> so cute. Oh wow, I didn't expect to find a Cleffa here. The Cleffa looks pretty surprised to be found too. Oh. Okay, so can I grab this berry? Mm -hmm. There are some yellow berries growing here. Those look like shuka berries, right? Here, let me taste one to make sure. Mm-hmm, I know this sweet delicious flavor anywhere. These are 100% shuka berries. Sweet yellow berries, huh? So shuka berry, I think that's one of the ones we need for the statues. We can talk to Pissimian as well. Uh, about the berries here. Hey. What kind of berries can you find around here? You can pick sweet yellow berries from the tree you live in. So that's why you like this tree. Sweet yellow berries, huh? It says you can have some if you want. Thanks, if we need any, we'll let you know. What are you good at? Hey. You have any handy skills? Apparently, it's really good at throwing berries. <laughs> good to know. It says it often competes with its friends to see who can throw the farthest. So its friends are also its rivals. I guess in a way, maybe it's friendly competition, but good to know. So that seems to be everything on this side. We can head down this way though, of course, and maybe run into a couple more things, including some red berries here. So these aren't spicy tomato berries. Mm -hmm. There are some red berries growing here. These look like Kaban berries. Let's give them a taste test. Hmm, this unique bitter taste. Yep, these are definitely Haban berries. So Haban berries are red and bitter? Got it. It's probably not the ones we need. Personally, I'd rather grab a coffee if I'm craving something bitter. And of course, we still have you. Hey. Your friend headed towards the ruins, right? If we find them in there, we'll let you know. We haven't gotten any updates on that, but hey, it's another little cleffa. It's a Cleffa. You seem to be looking all over the place. What are you up to? 
You're playing hide and seek with your friends, but you can't find them? It must be hard being the seeker in a huge area like this. What, help you search for them? We're in the middle of an investigation. We can play hide and seek with you some other time. You have other plans after this? And at this rate you'll be late? Come on, we can help out a little, can't we? Yeah, I guess we can keep an eye out while we're investigating the place. You've got three friends to find, huh? Got it, we'll let you know if we find them. All right, so find the hiding Cleffa. Some Cleffa are playing hide and seek, but the seeker wants to find the others quickly because they all have plans later. Find the hiding Cleffa for the seeker. Okay, so obviously we know where one is, so I might as well just run back over there and make sure that we find them, just in case we don't end up back in this area anytime soon. So there we go, found ya. You're one of the Cleffa playing hide and seek, aren't you? Your buddy asked us to help find you. You thought that no one would find you here, huh? Don't you have other plans after this? You should head back. All right, well there's one found. Still have to find the rest, of course, but that is definitely some good progress. So, back down this way. Uh, is there anything more we can say to you? Doesn't seem like it, so to the right of here, we still have you. Yeah, Monferno, maybe you can help us melt the ice. Can we ask you some questions? All right, about the berries here. Hey. Do you know what berries can be found here? It says there are pink berries growing in the tree it always plays in. Do you mean the tree right next to you? Is that where you play? Gotcha. What do the pink berries taste like? That's sweet, huh? Sounds like you really love them. I like sweet berries too. What are you good at? Hey. So tell us, what are you good at particularly? When it comes to spewing fire, no one can beat you? You sound pretty confident of that. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> I guess this chat, chit chat cheered it up a little. So maybe we could get them the help. Mm -hmm. There are some pink berries growing here. I think these are nana berries, as for the taste. Mmm, yep, no mistaking this sweet flavor. Definitely nana berries. Got it, nana berries are pink and sweet. I kinda wanna eat another one. Maybe later. We gotta make sure you don't have a full stomach just in case we run into more berries. Speaking of which, this one right here. Mm -hmm. There are some yellow berries growing here. Pretty sure those are pinup berries. Here, let me taste one for you. The skin is sour, but the fruit inside has that iconic spicy flavor. Pinup berries are yellow, sour, and spicy. Noted. You'd think they'd taste bad, but the flavors have a pretty delicate balance going on. Interesting. And we got some more information to, to, to learn from Lotad. About the berries here. Hey. What can you tell us about the berries around here? You can find two different kinds of berries right by this pond. They probably fell from the two trees near the pond. One kind is sour, a sour blueberry. And it sounds like the other kind is, a yellow, is yellow and has a sour, spicy flavor. Oh no. Don't worry, Lotad, we're not here to steal your, steal your berries. What are you good at? What are you particularly good at? Singing and swimming, huh? They're good swimmers, too. Sometimes they even get ri give rides to the other Pokemon here. That's cool, could be useful. They do have nice big leaves for that. I can see how they'd still be able to swim with a Pokemon hitching a ride on top. All right, very cool, okay, and hey, it. look, it's another Cleffa. Found you, Cleffa. The Cleffa looking for you asked for help finding all of you. You thought no one would find you here? Don't underestimate the observational powers of a great detective. You've got some plans, at other plans after this, right? Go on, it's time to go home. All right, so found that Cleffa, and then over here, this mm -hmm. berry. There are some blueberries growing here. I think the, those might be yak berries. Let me give them a taste. Whoa, they're so sour, but the aftertaste is really refreshing. Yep, these are definitely yak berries. There's no mistaking that sourness. Blueberries that are sour, yak berry. Okay, so now I think we have enough to start to do some. So, uh, Great. we've got everything we need to make our deductions. Let's solve this puzzle, Tim. Sure. So, back over here to what sweet yellow berry 
And of course, all of these. We have a lot of information going on here. Wow. Um, so first off, I guess we will focus on, I wanted to do this one. What sweet yellow berry needs to be placed on the statue to the left? Sweet expression. The Pissimian in the mural on the left wall is making a face like it just ate something sweet. Yellow berry. The Pissimian in the mural on the left wall is holding a yellow berry. Shuka berry, a sweet yellow berry. The uh, Pinna berry, a yellow berry with a sour skin and spicy fruit. And then finally the Nana berry, a sweet pink berry. So this one's more pink than it is yellow. So I think we want yellow and sweet. It matches the description pretty well, as well as the visual representation. I think it's a Shuka berry. So let's begin deducing with this one. Hmm. Which berry should we place on the statue to the left? Did you figure out which berry is yellow and sweet? A yellow, sour, spicy pinat berry. A sweet yellow shuka berry. Or a sweet pink nana berry. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Shuka berries are sweet and yellow, so the flavor and color both match. If the berry needs to be sweet and yellow, then I think we need a shuka berry. Makes sense. The shuka berry's color and flavor are exactly what we're looking for. Okay, let's bring one to the statue. And uh, next up, of course, with that deduction complete, a sweet yellow shuka berry. And to the right, what sour blueberry should we place on the statue to the right? Hmm. Which berry should we place on the statue to the right? Do you know which berry is blue and sour? Okay, so since we sort of know, we, we know it's gonna be a, a sour blue yak berry. Yak berries are sour and blue, so the flavor and color both match. If it's supposed to be a blue sour berry, then I think we need a yak berry. Yep, if it checks all the boxes, it's gotta be right. Okay, let's take one to the statue. Cool. So uh, then we also have over here, after this, a sour blue yak berry. How can we get rid of the ice on the mural? Munchlax's appetite. Munchlax can eat a lot. Slowpoke can spray water. Slowpoke is good at spraying water. Pessimian can throw berries. Pessimian is good at throwing berries. And then finally, Monferno can make fire. Monferno is good at breathing fire. Begin to do something. Hmm. Did you find any Pokemon who could help us get rid of the ice? I think so, but let's read through them all. Eat the ice. Munchlax loves to eat. Maybe we can convince him the ice is on the mural is a bunch of ice cream and get him to eat it. Melt the ice with fire. Monferno is a fire type Pokemon. Maybe it can melt the ice with its fire and then melt the ice with its water, or with water. Slowpoke can spray water. The ice might melt if it douses it with room temperature water. Throw a berry at the ice to break it. Basimian is good at throwing berries. Maybe it can break the ice by throwing a berry at it. Okay, out of all these, it has to be melt the ice to fire um, with Monferno. Oh. Monferno can melt, it with, melt the ice with its flames. Yep, some heat ought to melt that ice. Maybe this one was too easy. Monferno seemed to be struggling in this cold, though. I wonder if it'd be willing to help us. Monferno said it's confident about its fire skills. Maybe if you butter up it a bit, it, it butter it up a bit, it'll agree to help. Just leave the talking to Pokemon, po Pokemon to me. All right, so there we go. Three deductions in a row. Feels pretty good. Okay, All so right. we're back out of here. We need to ask Monferno if it'll help us melt the ice covering the mural. Right. Let's go ask Monferno. So I guess we're heading back right now. You're asking a lot, especially in this cold. Please, we need your power. Just give it your best shot. Well, all right, I'll try. Great, we're counting on you. Whoa. There it goes. And it's definitely a red spicy berry. <laughs> wow, there was so much ice, but it's all melted clean away. Now we can get a good look at that middle mural. After feeling the warmth of your flames for a moment, the cold feels even worse. I'm really sorry about that. We pushed you pretty hard. You're gonna move somewhere warm until the snow stops? Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks so much for helping us before you leave, Monferno. I hope you can come back when it gets warm again. I guess that means we won't be able to melt the wall though that has the shadow behind it. And off it goes. It's up to us now. Yeah, now that Monferno's melted the ice for us, let's check out that middle mural. Okay, so investigate the middle mural. What sort of hint do you think we'll get from the middle mural? 
Remember to think about how it relates to the statues, Tim. Hmm. Okay, where should we look first? Oh, I'm guessing the berry itself. Hmm. This Pissimian is holding a red berry. Red berry. Which I'm guessing is the tomato berry. A red berry this time, huh? I wonder what kind of berry it is. And of course, the expression of the Pissimian. This Pissimian is breathing fire. Can Pissimian even do that? No, they can't use those kind of moves. I think this means it ate something so spicy, it's breathing fire. Yeah, that would explain it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. All right, sounds like a plan. Looks like I can uh, check you out too. Listen up, Tim. Art isn't something you just look at. It's something you feel. And I can feel the heat from this mural. That's for sure. Hmm. Okay, we were finally able to examine the middle mural. Now we need to think about what sort of berry we should place in the middle statue. Okay, so I think this one's pretty quick to deduce. What spicy red berry should we place in the middle statue? The middle mural depicts a Pissimian that's holding a red berry and breathing fire. I'm sure that's Pissimian's expression is supposed to mean it ate something spicy, which means we should place a spicy red berry on the middle statue. I wonder if there are any berries that meet those conditions. Why don't we go search outside the ruins? Yeah, let's think about that, what berry would work. So we could begin deducing, and I think we should, because as you can see, spicy expression, the Pissimian in the mural on the middle wall is making a face like it just ate something spicy. Red berry. The Pissimian in the mural is holding, the, on, on the middle wall is holding a red berry. Husband berry, a bitter red berry. Pinap berry, yellow berry with sour skin and spicy fruit. Or tomato berry, a spicy red berry. Apparently, there aren't any more growing around here. So maybe we should okay, go outside first? I don't know. It seems like Pikachu wants us to deduce right away, so we'll go hmm. for it. Did you figure out which berry is red and spicy? So we either have a bitter red Haban berry, a spicy yellow pinap berry, or a spicy red tomato berry, or tomato, I don't know. Tomato berries are spicy and red, so the flavor and color both match. Which we haven't really seen one just yet, have we? That's right, tomato berries do have the right color and flavor. But according to Chris, there aren't any tomato berries around here. Hmm, what should we do then? Good question. But we'll have to figure it out as we go along. A spicy red tomato berry. And we don't have the right berry. What should we do? There are no tomato berries to place on the middle statue. Is there something that can be substituted for that berry? We can't follow Gordon without a tomato berry. How did the professor manage to solve this puzzle anyway? Gordon must have brought a tomato berry here with him. Chris had some that he used in his curry, remember? Yeah, that's true. We can't activate the mechanism in the same way Gordon did. All we can do now is look for something else we can use in the tomato berry's place. Like what? Seems like we just need to meet two conditions for the statue, color and flavor. If you think about it, we may not even need a berry as long as those two conditions are met. So we could look for something that's spicy and red like a tomato berry. It's worth a shot, I suppose. Sounds like Chris brought a bunch of stuff with him. Let's go ask him what he's got. Maybe he's got something we can use. Sounds good, let's go talk to Chris. All right, so yeah, we'll head out of here. First, let's go see Chris. Right, he should still be cooking. Yeah, and maybe he's got an ingredient that we can use as a substitute. All right, so ask Chris about a substitute for a tomato berry, then begin to do something. It looks like neither of these two have any more information for us. Yeah, we're good just to head straight out of here. And I figured now might be a good time to also do that Swadloon side quest, or at least complete it. We did it before, but now might be a good time to figure out some extra stuff with it. So right back out this way. We'll talk to Chris in a moment. I just wanna run right down here. And I guess it was, yeah, down this way. Yeah, we have you. Nina. Hi. It looks like both the Swadloon got back safely. It's thanking us for delivering the leaf clothes. You're very welcome. Glad to see you both look okay. And don't go worrying Levani too much, all right? So, deliver the leaf clothes to Swadloon, complete. We still have other side quests to complete, and speaking of which, maybe I should look around a little bit just to make sure there's not anything new I can do. I don't know if there's any other of the Cleffa we need to find. Hey Tim, where are you going? We got things to do here. I guess not, so yeah, we'll run all the way back over really, really quick. 
And let's see, yeah, I think we're still looking for more Kleppa. So I guess for right now we can talk to Chris. All right, so let's see what Chris has to say about everything. Mm. Is there something you wanted to ask? Substitute for a tomato berry? Mm. We need a tomato berry. Do you know if there's anything else we can use instead? Anything else red and spicy will do, really. Red and spicy? Well, I've got some curry, an apple, and some snacks. Well, I think Chris said that the curry was made with tomato berries, right? So I think that would fit the bill. Um... Didn't you say that you used tomato berries in this curry? Yes, I always bring some along when because they're the professor's favorite. Sounds like the flavor is right, and I guess the color is pretty rad. So I guess we get some curry. So, uh, what about the other things? Apple. You mean like a regular apple? Yeah, I bought some apples, or brought some apples to add a little sweetness to the curry. The color is right, but not the flavor. Well, now we have an apple regardless. And then snacks. What sort of snacks do you have? Five alarm, five alarm chips. That spicy flavor is hard to beat, but they're not red. Hmm, the flavor's right, but not the color. Chris's snack. And let's change the subject. Is there anything else? Uh, not really. Okay, so we'll back up for now. Okay, I, I think yeah, it's enough to start right. deducing. So let's go for it and see what we can figure out. We don't have the right berry, what should we do? There are no tomato berries to place on the middle statue. Is there something that can be substituted for that berry? I think out of all everything, it'll be the curry, of course, but curry, some curry prepared by Chris. He used tomato berries as an ingredient. So the curry is red and extremely spicy. Apple, a bright red apple that Chris brought along. He uses apples as a secret ingredient in his curry. Chris's snack, a spicy snack that Chris brought along. The bag is full of crispy brown chips. Let's begin to do so. Did you find anything that we could use as a substitute for a tomato berry? Either substitute the spicy chips instead. These chips are spicy, so they might work as a substitute. Substitute the tomato berry curry instead. The curry is both red and spicy, so it might work as a substitute for tomato berries, or substitute a red apple instead. This apple is red, so it might work as a substitute. So obviously, it's gotta be the curry. I wonder if we could just use this tomato berry curry instead. Hmm, it does have tomato berries in it. Seems like our best bet for a substitute. Let's go try it out. Yeah, we just need to ask Chris for some of his curry. All right, so with some of the curry. Mm -hmm. So anyway, would you mind sharing a little of that curry with us? My curry will help you solve a puzzle in the ruins? That's incredible. Take as much as you like. I hope it helps you find the professor. All right, you know what to put on which statue, don't you, Tim? Why don't we do that right now? Sure, let's go for mm -hmm. it. Okay, let's go. I hope this activates the mechanism. All right, here we are. Well, we've placed the berries or curries on all the statues. What now? Ooh, something's about to happen. Whoa. Oh, they're lighting up. Whoa. Relief of Aegis Slash. Just as I thought, the path continues on past these statues. I gotta say, it's pretty incredible that using curry actually works. I'm pretty surprised as well, but there we go. All right, now we can keep going. Yeah, let's hurry and find Gordon. Go to the statues, get to keep going. Yes. So the curry Chris made was the key to solving the puzzle? Sounds like all his work making it paid off. Yeah, we'll have to thank him later. Of course, if he hadn't made the curry, we would have been fine with just the tomato berry. Oh well, I guess there's no point in saying that now. All right, let's keep it moving. Slowpoke. Oh, it's Slowpoke. It's that Slowpoke again. He must have followed us here because he's worried about the professor. Makes sense, you are partners after all. Feel free to tag along at your own pace. No. Oh. Aw. All right, sounds like a plan. So, I guess we can keep moving with everybody. Yes. I'm going to keep looking after Slowpoke, so you can go on ahead. Thanks, Rachel. You'd better find the professor soon, for Slowpoke's sake as well. Yeah, you're right. I hope he's not far behind here. Slowpoke. You were frozen in place until just a little bit ago. Don't worry yourself on moving too much. I see. Well, you're a loyal one, that's for sure. All right, I think for real, we're good to head into Southern Ruins B2. Wow, 
Whoa. Oh, is that the hat over there? <sighs> Oof, it's even colder down here. Hey Tim, can I borrow your jacket? You're covered in fur, Pikachu. Shouldn't you be better suited to the cold than me? Fur no or no fur, this place is cold. If we keep standing around like this, we'll freeze solid. At this point, we better hurry and find Professor Gordon for our own sake. Yeah. So let's see if we can find Professor Gordon. Looks like there's multiple ways to go, but over here it looks like there was a gap in the floor. There's a big hole in the floor this way. I don't think we can get across. It it's really deep too. The professor probably hasn't come this way. Wait, Tim, look. Look, these are the professor's footprints. Oh no. D did he fall in? Doesn't seem like it. Look what's on the other side. Oh. It's his hat. Do you think that hat belongs to Professor Gordon? Look, looks that way. Well, we found a clue, but how did he get across? Wait, Slowpoke. Did I just hear? Here he comes. Yes. Oh, thank goodness he stopped. What's going on, Rachel? I have no idea. Slowpoke just suddenly took off running. He says if Mr. Go went this way, he wants to go too. But look at this hole, Slowpoke. Isn't it obvious we can't get across? Really, Slowpoke? You got a brilliant plan? It'd be great if Slowpoke could help us somehow, but are you sure that's a good idea? We'll leave it to you then. Okay, what is Slowpoke? Do your do? thing. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Whoa! <laughs> it's gonna fill up the entire hole. That's. A lot of water. Where did it all come from? Oh. Wow, he completely filled it with water. But how are we supposed to get across? Huh? H hey, wait! Oh, he's, is he just gonna swim across? I guess so. He swam ahead on his own. That slowpoke is a real handful. So, what's up next? Hmm. How can we get across the water-filled hole? There's no way to get across the water-filled hole in the hallway. Search near the ruins for a Pokemon that can help. Can you believe Slowpoke? That guy could have given us a heads up before he filled the hole with water and swam off without us. It's too cold for us to swim across. But not cold enough to freeze all the water solid, which is a problem. We could get across if we laid a bridge over it. You see anything we could use as a bridge? Well, no. I'm sure Chris wouldn't have anything we could use either. Should we get help from a Pokemon again? Yeah, that's a good idea. We need a Pokemon that can help us cross the water. Let's go look for one. So it looks like we're already ready to begin deducing. We have three options here. We have giving Pokemon rides. Lotad can carry a Pokemon on its head. Passimian can throw berries. Passimian is good at throwing berries. And Munchlax is appetite. Munchlax can eat a lot. <laughs> All right, let's begin to do saying. Hmm. Did you see any Pokemon that could help us get across the water? Have Munchlax drink all of the water. Munchlax loves to eat. Maybe we can get across the hole if we have him drink all the water. How would that help? Have Lotad act as stepping stones. Lotad can stay afloat, even with a Pokemon on its head. If we can get a line of them in the water, we might be able to reach the other side. And then lastly, have Passimian throw a rope to the other side. Passimian is good at throwing things. If we get it to throw a rope across, maybe we can get to the other side. Would we have to like tightrope walk across the rope? I think Lotad is our best answer. Oh. The Lotad said that they can carry Pokemon while they swim. If we asked them to act as stepping stones for us, do you think we could get to the other side? If we cross one at a time, I think they could handle the three of us. All right, let's go talk to those Lotad. I'm sure they'll be willing to help. All right, let's get to it. So, as you can see, have Lotad act as stepping stones. Not bad. Oh, and here they are. Jump in. They're so cute. And here's the last one. Oh, look, now we've got a low tad bridge. 
It's telling us to walk across the leaves on their heads. Thanks, Lotad. Okay, so cross the Lotad Bridge. Yes. I can't believe we get to float on a Lotad. This is like something out of a dream. You really are incredible, Tim. You get along so well with Pokemon. You know, Tim, the way Slowpoke really cares about Gordon is very relatable. Aw, I guess so. So I guess we could go across the Lotad now. Okay, I'm gonna cross now. Lotad. Lotad, Lotad, Lotad. <laughs> All right. Thanks to these low tad, we made it across. Tim, ask Rachel about the hat. Hey Rachel, is this Professor Gordon's hat? Yes, it's definitely the professor's. He said he and Slowpoke were wear matching hats. Apparently he's really picky about hats too, and this one is his favorite. Oh really? We better get this hat back to him then. If you wanna be a first class guy, you've gotta have a good hat. I guess so. Okay. Gordon should be up ahead somewhere. Let's hurry, Tim. All right, we're gonna keep going then. So will Gordon be up here? Oh no. Looks like this hallway's collapsed in. That rubble looks like it collapsed recently. You think it collapsed naturally, or do you think someone did this? The professor might be just past here. But there's all this rubble and debris in the way. We won't be able to get through here. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Find another entrance. Well, first, let's interact with Slowpoke. Calm down, Slowpoke. We just have to figure out how to get past this mess here. Hey. What do you think, Tim? Can we move this stuff? I don't think there's any way we can move this rubble ourselves. That's too bad. Guess we'll have to find another way through. Yes. We need to get all this rubble out of the way so we can get past. Hmm. Well, what's going on up this way? Oh, it's a new Pokemon. Hey. Who are you? Hey. Minior, Fallen Star. Minior is asking for help. What's it saying? Well, usually this Pokemon lives in the sky, but it fell to the ground after its shell got too heavy. Apparently it's lonely because it got separated from its family. Poor thing. Do you think it could get back home if we helped it get rid of its shell? We just need to find a way to break that shell. It'd be great if we could find a Pokemon strong enough to do that. Hopefully we can then. And whoa, what was that? It sounds like a Pokemon cry. Whoa! <laughs> Darmanitan, Galarian form, Snowball Head. That's a Darmanitan. It looks really worked up. We better be careful so it doesn't see us. Darmanitan! Uh oh. Luckily, it's walking away. <gasps> What's an ice Pokemon doing here? It sure seems angry. I feel like things could get ugly if it sees us. If we're gonna go any farther, we'd better be careful not to let it spot us. Looks like there are plenty of places for us to hide though. Guess that's something to be thankful for. Yeah, that's true. Let's keep out of its sight and get through here. Hide from Darmanitan. Advance while hiding from Darmanitan. If Darmanitan finds you, you'll have to start over. If Darmanitan only notices Pikachu, but not Tim, you'll still have to start over. Be careful, Pikachu runs slower than Tim. Okay, good to keep in mind. Whoa, so it's a little bit of a maze to get through too. This could get pretty intense. But it looks like we're trying to get to the top right of it. Advance without being spotted by Dermanitan. Well, for now, I think it might be good just to wait here. Uh -oh. It looks like, okay, he's turning around. So we can run down this way. But then where are we going? Uh. Okay, he's going down here? I think so. Uh, okay, he's going down that way now. Wasn't really expecting that. Let me hide over here and see which way he's gonna turn. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna turn back around. I don't know. Really is a slow going Pokemon, huh? No, okay, he's turning that way and going up that direction. So. I don't think I'd be fast enough yet to get up through here, so we might just wanna wait down this way for now as he continues to walk in that direction. Okay. Now what? I'll wait right here, and then maybe 
head up here for some extra safety. I don't see anything up this way, but the music is pretty exciting. Uh, okay, he's turning around that way. I might have missed my chance here. I might be in big trouble, but we're gonna hide in the corner over here just in case. I hope that he turns downward. Okay, he does, he does. Please keep walking, please keep walking. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna turn that way again. Okay, now's our chance. We gotta run. And it looks like, yeah, we just end up right over here. We made it through. We finally made it past. That was scary. Yeah, well, that was terrifying. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. So that chase with Dormanitan was pretty intense, but luckily we were able to make our way through. So now we'll have to see if we're able to save the professor in the next episode of Detective Pikachu Returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.